Life and Death of the Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. In Chapter 26 of The Mayor of Casterbridge, Henchard and Farfrae meet in the Chestnut Walk and exchange nods. Later, Henchard invites Farfrae to Lucetta's house, where they discuss her and her situation. Henchard and Farfrae's relationship is strained, and Elizabeth notices the incipient relationship between Donald and Lucetta. Henchard is attracted to her and sees her as a potential wife, while Farfrae is drawn to her intelligence and wit. This sets up a love triangle that will play out in the coming chapters and adds to the tension and drama of the novel. The chapter also explores the character of Elizabeth Jane, who is becoming increasingly aware of the complexities of adult relationships and the challenges of navigating social hierarchies. In addition, the chapter also explores the strained relationship between Henchard and Farfrae. Although they exchange nods when they first meet in the Chestnut Walk, their conversation at Lucetta's house is tense, and Henchard is jealous of Farfrae's growing relationship with Lucetta. Elizabeth Jane also notices the incipient relationship between Donald and Lucetta, which adds to Henchard's frustration. Furthermore, the chapter also introduces the character of Jop, who is one of Henchard's employees. Jop tells Henchard about a man well known as the Prophet. The Prophet, who is a mysterious figure in the town of curious repute as a forecaster, predicts the weather using the sun, moon, and stars, and his predictions are taken seriously by some of the townspeople. The prophet predicts good conditions about it, but the weather turns bad in June and Henchard's decision to buy an enormous amount of grain turns out to be a mistake and he is forced to enter Casterbridge Bank for a loan. Because of that, Henchard dismisses Jop and blames him for his financial troubles. The chapter ends with Henchard feeling the pressure of his financial situation and the unfavorable weather which threatens his business. Overall, Chapter 26 sets the stage for the conflicts and challenges that will arise in the coming chapters, as Henchard's personal and professional life become increasingly complicated.